Good morning, happy Mother's Day, and welcome back to another vlog. I am Alexia Nicole, and I'm living my life by design. Y'all can probably hear Joel in the background here. I'm still churching online. Um, it's about 9 a.m. I'm just now getting up. I actually need to get on the phone with a client real quick to run through an inspection report and then um, go downstairs and tell my mom a happy Mother's Day. Let me do that before. Let's go. Uh, all right. Mother was still in her room with the lights off, so I'm going to let her rest. I've been juicing y'all for the past. This is day nine. I have a 10-day juice thing going on. So, this is what it's for breakfast this morning. Um, and yeah, let me get to work like always. It's Mother's Day, and <laughs> it's becoming like a yearly thing that we do crawfish, like seafood on Mother's Day. So, only one of the aunties is here today, the other two, I believe, at work. Mother's Day to Auntie Sherio. Is that all you got? It's Mother's Day, Auntie. What happened to your leg? Fell down around our neck's backyard yesterday and scraped you. Ouch. Standing on a block and the block slip. So we came to Home Depot, you go all, to um, bring Auntie a flower. We bought a flower from Home Depot and now we're about to go give it to her. You know, since it's Mother's Day or whatever and she's at work. Andre, go in so I can see. Happy Mother's Day. That's not even funny. That's so funny. What do you mean? Happy Mother's Day, Auntie. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day to you. Happy Mother's Day, dear Sandra. Happy Mother's Day to you. We drove all this way from Lake Jackson, hour and a half. <laughs> hey, it's me, the favorite. Oh. We're back at the house. You know, gotta make a. I think mommy makes like bi weekly visits. But we're here. It's almost done, y'all. Almost done. I can't decide if I want to vlog it. I think I'm gonna wait until it's done but just you know give y'all just a little a little a little a little a little tour let that that that's all y'all get <laughs> y'all it's still sunday ending off mother's day and i'm just here in my closet trying to figure out what am i gonna do with all of these shoes when i get to the apartment I told myself tomorrow I'm gonna like start packing up all the knickknacks, 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 photo albums, knick, knicks. Y'all get it. <laughs> um, and then I think I'm gonna get um, movers to come maybe Tuesday. I mean, what, what, what am I waiting for? What am I waiting for? Um, did I tell y'all I picked up the keys yesterday? So, it's time to move in. Me, Mommy, Andre, Auntie Cheryl, we went to the apartment today. Um, of course, you know, they wanted to know where I was going, so, <laughs> family. Um, and I was just looking at the closet again, and that was the one and only thing that I was hesitant about before signing the lease. I was like, the closet space, man, like, it's really not... A lot <laughs> and uh, I don't know so and I don't want to store my shoes under the bed um I've been looking at like storage options shoe boxes like of course I could layer them on top of shelves and things like that but ugh. <laughs> uh, 
and then I'm looking right now, like, because I'm not looking at the child. I'm just literally looking at the closet. I'm like, okay, can I get rid of any of these shoes? And there's like one, two. I can't even say three on that one. Uh, four. Five. Five. Uh, I don't want to get rid of none of them. So, I'm going to have to figure something out. But tomorrow... I'm going to get some boxes and um, start putting the stuff in the boxes. And then if I can get movers out here Tuesday, that would be good. I went to shoot a, uh, a empty apartment tour today. It was supposed to just be me and my brother going and then my mother and aunt decided to tag along, which is fine. Um, but the purpose of going was to shoot the empty apartment tour and my brother shot it in slow motion <laughs> I don't know what he did and of course I could I could make it I could speed it up to get it back to the correct speed or whatever but thanks Andre for trying but it's it's not great so uh, it's just not great it's not great so maybe I'll try to get one of my friends to um, come over and help me redo it before I start bringing things in before it's no longer empty <laughs> anyways that's all I got for tonight y'all um yeah see y'all in the morning good Monday morning happy Monday y'all um this this one woke me up twice in the middle of the night first it like 1 11 because every time he wakes me up I look at the clock to see so first time he woke me up it was like one o'clock and I was like Aspen really take him out to pee whatever then then here he is again and I look at the clock I'm like is it six o'clock I'm like he shouldn't he shouldn't like what is 4 30 in the morning y'all 4 30 I was like I looked at him I said you cannot be serious right now but I mean, I guess I should be grateful that he wakes me up so he can go out instead of just tinkling around the house. <laughs> but boy, I don't know. Like, I'm sitting here thinking, like, what am I going to do um, when we get to the apartment? Because homeboy, we, uh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I should have got the apartment with the backyard so I could just stick you out there. <laughs> Oh my god i'm gonna have to really start like taking taking up the water and you know putting them on a feeding schedule or something but it's a little late in life for that aspen is 11 he old 77 years old like he's gonna be upset with me if i do that right spinny good morning did you have too much to drink last night old man you can't hold your bladder anymore that's really the issue, y'all. He just, he old and can't hold his bladder no more. The baby can't hold his bladder no more. The baby. All right, y'all. Anyways, so I've just pretty much been up working. I kind of went back to sleep like around, um, I went back to sleep after the second round of going out to Tinkle. And then I've been up since about 6.30 or so um, on the computer, a real estate and so we'll see what the day has for us. And this is when you remember <laughs> that you live in, <laughs> in Houston, <laughs> in the country. <laughs> Y'all, I am so tickled by that. That is a man driving his tractor down a main road. <laughs> Oh, as city as Houston really is, there there are areas and you just see some things that reminds you like, yeah, yep, I'm in the south. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I just pulled up at H E B, the H E B by my apartment. Um, 
I've never shopped in this H-E-B and all H-E-Bs are not made equal. <laughs> so I'm just hoping and praying I love this H-E-B as much as I love the one by the parental's house. But either way, it's fine. But I'm here to get just like cleaning supplies and stuff like that so I can just go, you know, clean the apartment myself. Of course, they claim they clean it. Um, after people move out or whatever but y'all know how that goes so I'm gonna make sure that I clean it with my own two bare hands before I actually start living in there so that's what I'm here at H-E-B for right now um and yeah so let's go cleaning supply shopping and who knows we might buy like some other little bags you never know so I think we're gonna pick us up a Swiffer, dry and wet. Yes, but does that mean I need the dry and wet cloths also? Wet jet, wet jet, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> if y'all are ever looking for a glass cleaner, this right here is it. Forget that Windex or whatever else you use. This, <laughs> legit. I just had a flashback to a year ago when people were fighting over toilet tissue in the stores. <laughs> like, whoo, what a difference a year makes, y'all. <laughs> Let me grab my toilet tissue. All right, y'all, I got a cart full of stuff. Got some water, toilet tissue, paper towels. And I'm picking up some grapes for me to snack on. Time to go clean. All right. And this H-E-B is equally yoked to my favorite H-E-B. So all will be well with the H-E-B shopping. <sighs> Cleaning supplies, y'all. Knowing me, I know I overdid it. Because, like, I don't really like going to the store to buy things like that. So I just bought, like, you know double the supplies but that means I spent double than what I needed to spend <laughs> but I should be good on cleaning supplies for shoot at least at least four months six months maybe it's just me can't be that dirty the apartment cleaned up wiped down shining bathtub good the AT&T guy came up and connected my modem and all of that for the internet so we're all set there I'm headed back to the house to the, his house um, let me just go over here and see if they fix my key fob my key fob for the gate in my garage is not working. I don't know if it needs a battery, if they needed to reset it, but um, I'm gonna run up in here and see if they fixed that. Then I'm gonna go home and um, start packing up my knick and knacks. Y'all know, I was showing y'all that last night, so. I actually, I'm going to eat and then go do that. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I am out of the house. It's 1030. I have to make my, I need to make my way to the other side of Houston to Missouri City. Um, I have a inspection to go follow up on the end of an inspection I want to stop and go get a smoothie first I want to get some wardrobe boxes so I can start packing up my clothing to take to the apartment um, my goal is to have movers come and move like my furniture probably on Monday so give myself a week um, just because Tomorrow, I will be back on the other side of town again. Tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, 
I basically have to be on the other side of Houston and I won't really be able to be there to instruct and whatnot the movers and they cost more on the weekend so we're not gonna do that one so I'm figuring by Monday I should have been able to just like packed up all the little knickknacks in my room and then they can just come you know break down my bed put, put the furniture in the truck you know all of that stuff take it to the apartment and that's how I have it planned out in my head. So it should work out just fine. Um, so yeah, I need to get the wardrobe boxes. I was telling myself I had something else to do today. I don't remember. But, you know, it's a week in the life vlog. So y'all are... Oh, I know what I need to do as I'm passing it up. I need to go get an allergy shot. I keep forgetting. I've been putting that off for a week. Um, but it's 1040 right now. And I do not want to miss the inspector at the house so we just gonna have to postpone the allergy shot a little bit longer so let's roll y'all let's roll <sighs> been ripping and running y'all i kind of forgot that i was vlogging hi can i have a um, number six eight count um yeah, let me just have the entree and then can i get a side salad with that yes please okay. And then can I have a large Coke Zero light ice? Okay. And that'll be it. Yes. Thank you. I'm at the Chick-fil-A. You're gonna pick me up some food. And I have to um, go to Humble for 315. It's 222 right now. Um, so after I left the house in Richmond, in Missouri City, I went to the Galleria. I'm doing another photo shoot next week for my real estate business. So I went to go pick up some outfits. Y'all already know where I went. Um, I guess I could just, I didn't, well, I'll show y'all what I bought, um, if I remember. Um, so yeah, that's, that, that's it. That's all I've been doing. So... So y'all probably want to see this vlog. You know, I'm never just really current. My vlogs always come out like two to three weeks late. <laughs> um, but, so today is the day that, or last night. Oh, uh, let me, I was gonna drive, but actually I think I was just park and eat. Just so, you know, I'm being safe. But anyway, so do y'all watch Real Housewives of Atlanta? Me and my best friend have been going back and forth, back and forth about Kenya and Portia. My best friend loves Kenya. I love Portia, right? We've been going back and forth about this all season. And the crazy thing is me and my best friend are like, we're like one in the same. Like we think exactly the like. We think exactly alike. So it's kind of unusual that we don't like the same people on the show. So anyways, fast forward to last night, Portia announces that she's now engaged to her friend on the show's ex-husband. And I just, I'm perplexed. <laughs> I am just so perplexed. If you don't watch the show, I know this is probably really random. You're probably like, who is Portia? Who are these people you're talking about? But these are cast these are ladies that are cast on the show Real Housewives of Atlanta. Um, so the question is, which everybody has been asking, and this, like I said, this is going to be, you know, late talk now by the time y'all see it. I might try to just get it up early. Is it okay to date? Really, Portia said in her post that Fallon wasn't a friend or is not a friend. So is it okay for Portia to date Fallon's ex-husband and they've only been divorced i think they filed for divorce in january so i don't even think they're actually like fully divorced yet uh, i don't know is it okay to date an acquaintance a co-worker a friend is it okay to date their ex ex-husband at that y'all like oh child that is just my mind has been blown so i'm like no i love portia but i don't I don't know. 
<laughs> I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm attempting to be keto again. So, I'm ordering keto-friendly meals. We'll see. I just finished my 10 days of juicing um, yesterday. And I was going to make that a vlog, but I had kind of fell off on the vlogging of it. So, it's like a half vlog. So, hmm, whatever. Y'all just, just know that I did it. Um, and I lost a good solid five pounds. Not as much as I thought I would have, but... It is what it is, you know, it's the first time that the scale has been under a certain number all year and I'm happy to see that. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to keep up, you know, the efforts of losing weight. Losing weight, y'all. So, let me gobble my food. I'm listening to The Breakfast Club talk about Portia and Fallon right now. But I am just so tickled by this whole situation. And I didn't even mention Portia's ex fiance was the one that introduced her to Fallon and her now ex husband, now Portia's fiance. Like the, the whole thing is crazy. Crazy. <laughs> so I just rethought the wardrobe box thing. I think I mentioned that earlier. Who knows? I was going to go buy some wardrobe boxes from like Home Depot or U Haul or whatever. You know, y'all know wardrobe boxes, the boxes that have the racks in it. But you just hang up your clothes on hangers, put them in the box, and transport them. Those. But I was like, the amount of clothes that I have, I just looked up the prices for the boxes too. And it said like $12 <laughs> for a box. And sis, I am sis. Sis is going to need probably about 50 of them boxes. So, no, no, we ain't doing that. You know, maybe if this was like a cross country move or something, then sh possibly. We gonna lay these mahogany seats down and lay them clothes on their hangers in this car and dry them 20 minutes down the road. And that's it. That's it. That's that. Like, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't doing all of that. Bye. <laughs> so, there's a reason you have good friends in life. This house is for sale and I need to try to sell it because this is a brand new community over here. All these houses are like, hello, one story, three car garage, three or four bedrooms there. I hate using the word starter homes, you know, first time home buyer homes, because there really is no true home for a first time home buyer. But anyways, um, I have a client that might, would like that house. Um, anyways, I just came over to my friend's house because she had some wardrobe boxes because she just moved over here. So I snatched these up from her. Yay! Now <laughs> I'm about to go to my apartment and get some grapes that I left in the refrigerator yesterday because for whatever reason I really really want them and she's only like five minutes away from my apartment. Um... And yeah, then we're gonna go home and start. I'm gonna I'm gonna start packing today. I'm gonna put some stuff in some boxes. Am I gonna do that today? Cause really, like I don't know, child. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Good morning, happy Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. I still got these boxes in the back of my car because I completely forgot to take them out. I'm running a tad bit late this morning. I'm going back out to Missouri City to do this final walkthrough. And we'll see what the house is looking like today. Um, what else is on the schedule? Then I'm going to this um, builder. They're having a little function, you know, a little networking event. Um, and then I have some phone consultations later on today. <sighs> and then, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as work goes and then I should really probably start packing up because I definitely didn't do it last night uh, just I, I, I didn't do it and um, I have hired some movers to come Monday so yeah I mean the days are dwindling down and I just need to get my life together around here y'all 
anyways, happy Wednesday, happy hump day. It's kind of ugly outside, but I look cute. <laughs> hey. <laughs> All right, so I'm at this realtor event. This is a Ashton Woods townhome new community. And I love this townhome because most townhomes you find usually only have like one living area space. And this is a three bedroom with two living areas. So it has your um, dining and living space downstairs. And then it also has this upstairs like game space. It's only two stories, which is good. So as soon as you come up the stairs, you have the bathroom here and then a one bedroom and a second bedroom and me and my cuteness. <laughs> Y'all probably already know where my head is going. This, for me, is everything. But the only thing it doesn't have is a backyard. Mm -hmm. so half bath. And then we have this little cabinetry. I guess this could be a butler's pantry if you wanted to. Right off your utility closet, washer and dryer. And then, oh yeah, this would be the garage, but it's their office as of right now. Y'all, I really like this, except, well, it has a little bit of yard. It, it, has, it has a little bit, so I'm confused. Because look, these have a little bit of yard space, so let me find out. Because I really like this, for me. Talking about for me. So I was wrong. This is actually a single family home. I didn't even look at the outside of it. I just walked in there. And that's actually, they're all sold out. So they're building real town homes now. Um, and they don't have any that are completely, that are completed yet. So I'll have to come back, I think in June when they're done to take a tour of those. But I love this house. And this is the model home. So of course it has all the updates and on oh, my pinky <laughs> all the updates and stuff like that in it and she said that they don't have a list price for it yet but it's probably going to be like five hundred thousand or more but it's so nice it's so cute all right y'all i did a little damage <laughs> went to tj no went to home goods and bought some stuff for the apartment so ugh, you know it's not mosquito season, well, actually it's coming up. Let's bring all this stuff inside and I'll show y'all what I got. Okay, y'all. So I made my way up the stairs with all the stuff. I'm a little hungry. So, uh. These ducks are so good, they're like, Cotton candy flavor from ATV. Mm. And a little Perrier. <sighs> okay, let me show you what I got. Okay, first I bought a trash can. Um, it's just like dual sided, so I guess trash and recycling. That's kind of neat. But now I'm like, why did I buy this can and why didn't I just buy like one whole one? Because I bought these bags and I don't, I don't know. But anyways, trash can. Most of the things I bought really are for the dogs. <laughs> so I bought Denver this bed um, because it's nice and. I know how Denver likes to sleep. She likes to put her head on one end and she likes to lay flat out. Sometimes she curls up, but it also has like this nice soft cushion down here. So it's not just flat on the ground. And then this is big enough for her to curl up in here if she wants to, or just stretch out. So I got her that one. Aspen doesn't necessarily sleep on the bed or lay on the bed too often at all. But I thought this, was just too cute so it's two different pieces so it's just this piece but it didn't come with the cushion so I bought this which is it's really just like a crate um bed like the ones you would put you know like the picture in the doggy crate but I figured that 
it folded up and fit in here just perfectly. So I figured I could just do this like this for Spenny or Denver might try to hop in here too, but we'll see. I just really like that because my decor is going to be um, white, black, and gold. And then of course I had to get them a feeding bowl thing and I got a mat for it to go on. Parts of me kind of thinks that I want to put it over here by the top of the stairs. Um, I'm not gonna leave it here right now just because when the guys come with the furniture, um, I wanna kind of have that area clear for them so of course they don't trip over anything. But it's like a little mat. And they'll just come over here and eat. That's what I'm thinking at the moment, but you never know. And then this probably won't end up staying here either because I did want to get a bar cart to go right here. And then in this space is just going to be the dining table. Um, This is another container for the dogs. This is for their treats. So this will probably just stay on the kitchen counter somewhere so doggy can get a treat. And then this one is for their dog food to go in. Leave this in. It's nice, y'all. Has hold on. Yeah, so this one will hold 60 pounds of dog food. And the top just pops off. And it's just empty, but look, it has it's like embossed with little paws on it. So this will be stored. Uh -oh. Um, I'm going to keep this just in the pantry. Yeah, this will be fine. Just right there in the pantry like that. I got something else. Oh, yes. I got curtain rods for the bedroom. Y'all already know my furniture is like this pewter silver and then it has like the clear handles on it. So I thought that would go well to match my furniture. What else? What I'm forgetting something. Um, oh, I also bought some cast iron skillets. So I bought a couple of cast iron skillets. These are just what I'm used to cooking on because this is what stepdaddy uses. So after so many years of just cooking with these, you just get comfortable with them. So I bought a 10 inch. Um, I bought this little flat one, um, but it's 11 inch. Well, it's not flat, but it's square. There we go. Uh, that one. And then I bought this flat one. I don't really know what you use to make on these, but you know, I guess fry an egg or I don't know, child. But I figured out what it. Then I bought a bigger one. I think this one is, I don't know, but it's bigger. I can do a little bit more with this one. And then I got a smaller one. So that's that for now. And that's it. Um, there's some other things, of course, I need a lot of other things because all of my drawers and cabinetry are empty, so I need everything, everything. <laughs> Whew, now I'm feeling a little tired, I must say. Um, I've been up and going um, all day. It's now, oh, it's only 3.30. It feels so much later in the day than that. But now I'm going to go home, probably take a little nap. Mm -hmm. And um, then I'm going to attempt to start packing some stuff today. Attempt. So Let's roll out. Say bye to the apartment for now. Bye, apartment. So y'all know I've been working out every day since what, May 30th or something. I'm doing my 
birthday workout challenge leading up to my birthday workout challenge um and today is the 12th day of may and i've been being very consistent i haven't skipped a day and i'm not gonna skip today either i just want to tell y'all that i don't really feel like doing it um i've been either doing the treadmill for 3.3 miles a day or i get on the bike and i do the bike for either 33 minutes or 3.3 miles just depending on you know how I'm feeling but the whole the whole thing is you know just making sure that I'm doing something with 33 in it because <laughs> clearly I'll be 33 uh, oh god but it's still early in the day it's like 6 o'clock so I have quite a lot more time to I need to get up and go do that, but I'm like, should I do it now? And then fake start packing? Or should I just wait and let it be the last thing that I do? Yesterday, Ooh, excuse me, I just woke up from a little nap, y'all. Yesterday, I did the bike. Look at Denver. It's like anytime she see the camera, she did not. She don't, she don't be one to look. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to do the treadmill today because I did the bike yesterday. I should have went and walked on the track or ran or whatever. But anyways, I'm proud of myself. I'm doing it. I'm getting it done. <sighs> treadmill time. 3.3 miles. Here we come. Good Thursday morning. You know you slept good when your bonnet came off. <laughs> In the middle of the night, you look like this. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna go this way. <sighs> it is Thursday morning, and I have a closing today. Yay! I forgot to take my trash out last night, and trash man come today. And let's hope that they haven't come already. It's not 8 o'clock yet, so. Ooh, and, ooh. They might have come already, and I just. Well, sleep, sleep, sleep. Anyways, y'all. I have to go get my allergy shot today. Because I need it. You know, I need that thing. I think they. Oh, no. Come on, one and two. Got to get my allergy shot today. I got um, an order for the cabin crew planner. And um, I'm putting the planners on sale. They're going to be half off. One, because I need to just get rid of the, the last few that I need. Well, that's really... I'm putting the planners on sale. They're going to be um, half off. So $25 for the hardcover ones. Um, the digital and the download is not going to go on sale. But, um, yeah. Because it's time to get rid of the rest because I do want to, I think I do. I want to do another one, but I'm not going to do another one until I sell out of the rest of these. So, cabin crew planners, flight tenant planners for all you all that are getting your wings and are about to start applying. Airlines are definitely gearing up to start hiring Again, like today, Southwest starts hiring, which is amazing, but only for California residents. So y'all know, if you live in Cali, go ahead and apply. Um, and then I'm sure other airlines will start, get out of the kitchen. We'll start um, opening up apps soon too. So yeah, go grab you a, a cabin crew planner. Remember, they are undated, so you can use them pretty much anytime. So, go get you one of those. Um, I feel like something else was in the plan today. I don't know. But, y'all will see. Whatever the plans are, y'all will be coming with me. All right, y'all. Don't mind the background a bit. And I, just, I have clothes everywhere. Clean laundry. But OTTD, 
OO outfit of OOTD. Um, got his dope shirt, Zara jeans, Adidas, swing bag. I have my sold sign in my hand just so I can put it in the car so I won't forget it later. And I'm going to drop this planner off at the post office. So, time to go. Y'all, I haven't checked my P.O. box out of order. I haven't checked take to the gray door ring, y'all. I haven't checked my P.O. box in so long. Like, so, so long. I don't even remember which one it is. And I'm like, do I even really need to still keep this P.O. box? <sighs> let's see but my birthday's coming up if y'all want to send me something i'll gladly accept <laughs> p.o box address should be um in the description below oh there's there's stuff in here uh yeah and it's actually time for me to renew the p.o box so, okay. Do y'all want me to keep the P.O. box or not? Yes, sir. All right. I'm back at home. I really don't have a lot of time. It's going to take me an hour to 55 minutes to get out to where my closing is today. But I got this in my P.O. box and I wanted to share it with y'all. This so sweet of Casey y'all can see um this little card came in the package it's the brand is called debrief accessories and it's a handwritten note and it says hey alexia my name is casey i'm a flight attendant on the west coast and have been a subscriber of yours for a few years i recently started a new business and wanted to send you some gifts as a thank you for your advice and content hope you can use these items stay safe so she gave me some pens and they have like the little, the little, you know, thingy. <laughs> Robert can't remember what those are called. And it has her brand logo on here, debrief in red, blue, and black. As a flight attendant, pens are essential. <laughs> we are essential workers and the pens are essential as well. Um, and then... This cute little shoe bag and it has her logo on there. Um, and this, you know, I mean, I'm going to use it as a shoe bag and I'm sure that is the purpose of it. But, you know, you can use it as whatever you want. Um, just so your shoes aren't touching like, you know, the, the other things in your bag, whether you put it in your tote bag or your roller board. You just stick your shoes in here and then you pack them in there like that. So thank you so much, Casey. Um, she have a website on here. It's not on here, but um, I think it's just, we could probably just go to debrief accessories. I'll make sure to put it down here if that's not correct once I look it up. All right, y'all, I'm, I'm feeling a nap in my soul, no lie. But I, I just really don't have time because it's good. Like I was saying, it's going to take me 55 minutes to get out there to Sugarland to where we're closing at. And then I still need to stop and um, I ordered some Tiff Treats cookies. So I need to stop and get those um, on the way out there for their closing gift. So, yeah, let me uh, get myself together here. Good morning, happy Friday, good people. This week in the life feels like it's been really long. <laughs> I don't even know why, and I'm probably actually gonna keep this one going until Monday, I don't know yet. Anyways, happy Friday. I am headed to, I gotta go drop something off at a title company. I need to get the remaining stuff to put in the basket for my client's closing gift today. This is just who I am. Like, I try not to be late and last minute with things like this, but I can't help it. Like, I need to go get my car washed because I, if I drive everywhere on one more day with all this bird poop and tree, tree, tree seeds and whatever else is on my car, I'm about to lose my mind. So, and then I'm going to head to the final walkthrough for my client. 
and then closing and then I have to go get my hair done I shampooed my hair this morning and <laughs> I shampooed my hair this morning so I've just kind of got it you know whatever it's doing whatever so, anyways hope y'all are having a great Friday you know, uh, there's just some places that you go to and you know they're gonna move slow Smoothie King where else do I go to that you just like you have to prepare your mind to know that you're about to sit there oh hearts <laughs> I love me some hearts chicken though. I don't know if that might only be in Texas. I really don't know, but I love hearts chicken. Chick, uh, they're chicken tenders. Cause I'm not really a huge chickeny eater, y'all. But I love hearts chicken tenders. So I really don't have that much time. It's like 11, 10:48 now. Um, definitely gotta go get mahogany washed. I'm gonna say that until I go get her washed. Um, and I don't know, I gotta think about what else I wanna put in this basket. You would think that it really doesn't take that long to make a smoothie. I'm really gonna have to start pre-ordering my smoothie and going in to pick it up. Cause I've legit been in this line at least 10 minutes. At least 10 minutes. That's a long time, y'all. Thank you so much. Have a good one. You too. All right. We got my daily warrior. Now let's go take on the bay. Yay. Okay. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. <laughs> I think I'm going to. Mm, I need to find a liquor store to grab a bottle of champagne because I want to put that in the basket. Car wash complete, y'all. Uh, we should be looking good. Let me go get this blue tape off the back of her real quick. I can't stand that. I always tell them, don't tape it down. <laughs> God, y'all. I knew I wasn't. I hadn't lost enough weight. I thought. I, I thought. I thought I was snatched again. I am not, <sighs> y'all. <laughs> Look at what had happened. <laughs> so these are or were. This was waist beads that um, I think I bought those waist beads last summer. And clearly, y'all know I've been talking about it. I ain't ashamed. I've gained some weight. So, you know, we've been trying to get back to where we need to be. So, I put them on today because I was like, okay, this ain't. No, I put them on last night, actually. I was like, let me see if I can get into my waist beads, you know, and wear me, you know, try to just start tracking. Because I've been in a better mental space about this health and fitness stuff lately and just making better decisions, blah, 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 blah baby I guess I exhaled a little too much <laughs> they just popped <laughs> oh that's funny so I, I probably just need to order a size up what I am right now and just let that do its thing but that's comical I am laughing at that <laughs> 9 15 y'all I'm mighty sleepy but we gotta get this workout in for the day. And then I'm gonna get up early in the morning, do my workout for tomorrow. Then I have about 10 houses to show tomorrow, so. And then I'm gonna go out tomorrow night and have some fun. <laughs> Good morning. I told you I was gonna wake up early. It's not that early, but it's 9.30. I have to be at a show at 11, so I'm pushing it. But it's close. The show is close by. So, back on the bike this morning. <sighs> I wish I was still in bed, but here we go. 
It's 7.30 p.m. y'all. I just departed from Travis and Tia at like 7.20. We were out all day from 11 o'clock. We looked at 13 houses. I'm about to feed myself and then uh, do some comps for them. Out of the 13 houses, they want to put in two offers. So here we go. Good Sunday morning. I'm gonna go ahead and end the week in the life vlog today. I know I said I was gonna continue it into moving day, but I've changed my mind. The girl has the right to change her mind. Um, so I hope y'all enjoyed. Until next time, make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Bye.